What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Rue585, back with another video. I know, I did it again. I'm at the camera right now. But anyway, um, I'm back here to talk about the, uh, the NFL MVP race. Now, I was looking online, and I see that, um, aside from the top two players who we're going to talk about in a second, it was like Le'Veon Bell, Aaron Donald, Rob Gronkowski, and I think one or two other players. Um, of course, Gronkowski, because he's on the Patriots, Aaron Donald, because he's on the Rams, you know, so I'm not saying that they shouldn't be in the, in the race or whatnot, but... Excuse me. It's it's obviously two players in the league that everybody's been talking about. One, people have been throwing so much shade at because of the team he's on and because he's only been in the league for a couple years. And the other player, obviously, because he's won Super Bowls. Okay, so we're going to talk about Todd Gurley first on my Rams. And I'm, and I'm going to explain why I think... He should seriously, seri seriously be considered like close behind Tom Brady. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna be, you know, contradicting or, or biased or whatever as far as of just saying Todd Gurley should automatically get it, but I'm gonna also say why, you know, I would think Tom Brady should and shouldn't get it. Okay, so real quick, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm gonna talk about Todd Gurley first. So, obviously, you can see Todd Gurley's been putting up numbers. Um, rushing and receiving, you know, I think he lead the league in, in uh, total touchdowns, rushing yards from scrimmage, I think. Um, and I think he up there for, for receptions for, for running backs. I could be wrong about that part. But, yeah. So... Again, so I'm going to say the reason why I'm saying that I feel like Ty Gurley should be up there is, like I said, look at his squad's record. They went from 4-12 and 12 last year, I think they were, to to them being, what, I think 11-4 and four right now, something like that. You know, with, with, with a first-round home game in the playoffs and everything of that nature. And so I'm going to say the reason why... I'm sorry, that's the reason why I feel Todd Gurley should you know, be like right there with Tom Brady as far as of, of getting it. And also, you know, I'm going to say too, if he, if Todd Gurley, you know, um, leads the Rams all the way to the Super Bowl, you know, he should also still be considered, you know, more that I feel like that makes his case stronger or whatever the case or whatnot. Um, that's my, you know, that's, that's really my, my reasons for why I feel like Gurley should get it. You know, like I said, I'm not trying to just say automatically. You know, he's, you know, how people say you got to put the work in. Gurley's been putting the work in. All right, so that was my case on Gurley. Now I'm gonna talk about Tom Brady. So obviously, everybody knows, everybody sees Tom Brady's record. What he's got five rings, so that's obviously above Gurley. Um, of course, the experience and and his performance at the, at his age at, at at 40 years old. So, again, I'm not discrediting Tom Brady saying that he should just automatically lose it. But I feel like if the Patriots were to get... This is my question to whomever watching this. If the Patriots were to get knocked out first or second round of the playoffs and the Rams just so happen to still be in it, should I, I feel like Todd Gurley should really be considered for it. Again, I'm not trying to say Tom Brady isn't garbage as far as if, if that were to happen where the Rams were still in the playoffs and the Patriots got knocked out or whatever the case. No, I'm not going to say that Tom Brady should automatically be knocked out of MVP conversation. No. But like any sport, when a player and his team are, are constantly showing improvement in championship, you know, considerations, you know, as far as their team or whatever and how they're leading their team and all that, I feel like that should go for either player, Tom Brady or Todd Gurley. So, like I said, I'm not trying to discredit Tom Brady. Like I said, I'm kind of him being older. But I'm not trying to discredit Todd Gurley. Now, again, they both, both of them, you know, still setting, you know, they're setting records and, and, like I said, putting up their numbers and all that. But, like I said, don't don't discredit my man Todd Gurley because, you know, like I said, because it's, it's, it's a long shot. But it is a possibility that Tom Brady and them can get knocked out of the playoffs and we're still in it. But like I said, there's also a possibility the Rams can get knocked out and the Patriots will still be in it. Now, again, I'm not going to say 
that that if that does happen to where Tom Brady and them are are still in the playoffs and the Rams are get knocked out, I'm not gonna sit here and say Ty Gurley should just still automatically get you know the, the MVP award because his team you know he's not he's not performing anymore. But like I said, I'm not gonna still say that Tom Brady should automatically just get it. He would have been knocked out the first or the second round. And like I said, the Rams were still in it or whatever the case. So it's, like I said, of course, Tom Brady, because of his resume, he has the ha- has the obvious edge over Todd Gurley. But like I said, I'm not going to discredit Todd Gurley. Like I said, if he were to get the Rams to the Super Bowl, hey, against Tom Brady and them, that right there would determine, I feel like, MVP consideration, who it should go to. But like I said, if one team gets knocked out and the other – you know, or whatever the case, you like I said, you can't argue if Ty Gurley and him are still in and Brady are out, that Brady should still get it. And like I said, you can't say if Tom Brady is still in, that Ty Gurley should obviously still get it. Of course, me being a Rams fan, I'm a, I'm a still to have some type of case on why I would feel like Ty Gurley should still get it, or whatever the case. But yeah, y'all, this was just another video, like I said, my, 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 uh, my MVP case. On, on Todd Gurley versus Tom Brady, or Tom Brady versus Todd Gurley, however you want to put it. Who do y'all think should win the MVP? I know 99.9% of y'all are going to say Tom Brady. Like I said, just for me being a Rams fan, I'm pushing and, and, and just saying that I want it to be Todd Gurley because the work he's put in. But like I said, that 1% of everyone is going to say, you know, that Tom Brady should. And I'm pretty sure there are going to be people that's going to say, even if the Patriots were to get knocked out, and Todd Gurley and them were still in it. That Tom Brady should still get it. Whatever. That's your opinion. I got mine. And obviously, if you're watching the video, yeah. But no, like I said, that that was just another video, y'all. I still got actually one more video I got to do. Like I said, y'all, yeah, I'm, I'm worried with this. Cause I be just having so much, so many ideas and so many topics that we want to talk about. But um, like I said, let me know down in the comments again, you know, what, who's your pick? Tom Brady. Ty Gurley, Aaron Donald, Rob Gronkowski, Le'Veon Bell, whomever it is. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, hit, like I said, you know, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video. You know, um, like I said, even if you disagree with everything I'm saying, let me know down in the comments. I'm, I'm all for criticism. And I'm, I'm not perfect. But yeah, yo, so it's your boy, Rule 585. And I'm going to highlight y'all later with another video. I'm on this grind, on this, on this, on this hustle to... Get these videos out, many, you know, whatever the case. But yeah, y'all, it's your boy Wolf 585, and I'm out. Peace. Hey. Oh, okay, I messed up. Don't judge me.